All right, guys, I grabbed my graphic organizer. I put my name at the top like I would if I was at school. Remember, we read Giggle Giggle Quack. We just finished this story. We decided that our activity would be telling who, what's the point of view from this story from, and we decided who that was. I'm gonna help you with the top part, but then at the bottom for fun, you're gonna decide how would the story change if the story was written from another character's point of view? Kind of talked about that already. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on this top part. So if you don't have your graphic organizer, pause the video and go grab your graphic organizer from your packet and a pencil. So we read Giggle Giggle Quack and we used page... Um, well, there's no page numbers. We used this page. Remember, Bob had gotten a call from Farmer Brown, and Farmer Brown said, Did you see my note about the pigs? All taken care of, said Bob proudly. Proudly was our clue. Proudly lets us know that Bob was telling the story. We got to see his feelings. He is feeling proud. He thought he did what Farmer Brown had asked him to do. He thought he had been following directions. When we know a character's feeling or what they're thinking we can decide oh that's who's telling the story it's their point of view so I'm gonna put my book down and I'm gonna grab my pen and I'm gonna fill in this top part of my organizer it says whose point of view is the story from do you remember we just talked about that so we're going to write a complete sentence. I want you writing a complete sentence with me. We're going to say in giggle, comma, giggle, comma, quack. That's our title. I'm going to underline it. That's what we do when we have a title. We underline it. In giggle, giggle, quack, Bob is telling the story. What emotion was he feeling? Do you remember? All taken care of, said Bob proudly. We know he felt proud. All right, I'm gonna put this right here. I want you to pause the video and finish writing these two sentences. It should not take you very long, but pause the video, finish writing the two sentences, and then press play again. Now that we've written um, whose point of view the story was from, Bob, on your own without me, I want you to write a sentence about how the story might change if the story was written from another character's point of view. So maybe if the duck is telling the story, or the pigs, or Farmer Brown, what would they be feeling? Would the story be the exact same? Would it be a little bit different? All right, guys, work hard. See you later.